Hi, my name is Jim Noon. I'm an Applications Engineering Section Leader for Power Products at Linear Technology. I'd like to introduce you to the LTC3118, a dual input, four switch, monolithic buck boost converter with integrated power path. The four switch buck boost topology allows you to efficiently regulate a fixed output voltage with input voltages that are above, equal to, or below the output and ensures seamless transitions between operating modes. It has two independent inputs, each able to operate between 2.2 and 18 volts. The output can be programmed between 2 and 18 volts and is capable of providing up to 2 amps of output current. The device is easily configured using the control signals and provides source and output monitoring. Linear technology has many buck boost converters with various voltage and power capabilities. What makes the LTC3118 unique is the integrated power path management, which enables an efficient, compact, simple solution to multiple input source applications. First, let's define a couple of terms. There are two common techniques for handling multiple input sources. The first technique is to diodore the input supplies. The input that has the highest potential will provide the input power. This technique can be implemented when the highest voltage supply is the preferred power source and when the voltage range of the two inputs do not overlap. The second technique is to prioritize one of the inputs. With a prioritizer function, the input supply powering the load can be selected independent of its input voltage. If valid, the priority source will be used even if it has a lower voltage. Now let's take a look at a typical system configuration. In many electronic systems today, it is common to have multiple input sources. Portable systems typically run from a wall adapter or USB input when available, or a battery when it's not. There are also point-of-load converters or high reliability systems that run off a primary bus, but will switch to another bus or a battery backup if the main supply is lost. Some systems must also be able to run from multiple battery chemistries. So how do you handle multiple sources in a seamless, reliable way? As I've mentioned, the easiest way is to simply diodore the sources. A diodore configuration can be realized with discrete diodes or with an ideal diode integrated circuit, which can minimize the voltage drop compared to discrete diodes. However, diodoring provides no control over when a supply turns off and you can't run from the lower supply. If the voltage ranges overlap, there's no control over which one supplies power, and worst case, you can oscillate between the supplies. You can also use a prioritizer power path integrated circuit. This adds some additional complexity, and you may need to add additional holdup capacitors to handle the switchover. However, you now have control over which input you run from. The LTC3118 integrates all the functionality and simple configurability to handle multiple inputs and delivers power in either a prioritized or ideal diode function. The device offers individual run comparators for user programmability and the ability to monitor the sources. It also offers a host of protection features to ensure robust, fault-tolerant power delivery. Here we see a simplified version of the internal switch configuration. We have independently controlled switches so we can control which input we use to power the load. The switches that connect to each input share a common connection to one side of the inductor. That's the switch one node. Power is taken from only one input source. During that time, the other input source is disconnected, ensuring that there is no current from one input to the other. Here's a simplified schematic of a typical battery backup system, which illustrates where the diode or function won't work. Here there are two independent sources that can power the 5 volt output. We have a 3.3 volt system bus and a stack of lithium batteries. For this application, we want to take power from the bus when it's available. The system bus voltage is less than the battery stack voltage, so the LTC3118 should be configured to operate in priority mode. Grounding the SEL, or select pin, will command priority mode. The priority input should be tied to VN1, and the battery is tied to VN2. The mode pin programs the device to operate in either fixed frequency PWM mode or in burst mode. 
Burst mode is a feature that significantly improves efficiency under light load conditions. We'll see an example of that later. The resistive dividers have been set to validate VN1 and VN2 at the lower end of their input range. Integrated hysteresis prevents unwanted chatter during startup or channel switchover for seamless operation. Now let's take a look at the LTC3118's performance. Here we can see the operation of the LTC3118 in the ideal diode mode. The converter operates from the highest input. So when VN2 is below VN1, we operate from VN1. As VN2 ramps up and exceeds VN1, you can see that the converter switches over. VN1 input current goes to zero, and we see a small transient on the output voltage. With priority mode, we have VN1 as the preferred input. If VN1 is below its turn-on threshold, then we operate off VN2. As VN1 becomes valid, though, we switch over to it. Again, you can see that VN2's input current goes to zero. The output voltage shows the normal transient response. The LTC3118 uses an average current mode control interloop, which simplifies the outer voltage loop compensation and provides excellent line and load transient response, as we can see from the plots. Here we see the converter's efficiency over a wide load current range in both burst and PWM mode and two different input voltages. VN1 is a typical system bus or lithium ion battery, while VN2 is a 12 volt input. The fixed frequency PWM curve gives the highest efficiency for higher load currents. However, in PWM mode, since you are switching all the time and therefore experiencing switching losses, the efficiency suffers at light load. This can be an issue in battery systems where you are trying to extend the battery life as long as possible. So at light loads, you can operate in burst mode. In burst, you only switch when the output voltage starts to drop out of regulation. Otherwise, the LTC3118 goes to sleep with no switching and the losses are minimized. As you can see, this extends the high efficiency region down to very low load currents, which can translate to longer battery life. Thank you for taking the time to look at the LTC3118. As you've seen, this part incorporates all of the functionality you need to manage multiple inputs, as well as providing a high performance buck boost converter to regulate and provide power to your load. Please visit linear.com for more information, check out the data sheet, and take a look at the demo board as well. Thank you for watching.